Hey guys, welcome back to SA Homestays. Today we're going to be talking about the construction of my new biofilter. So let's get to it. So right here behind me is my new biofilter for my aquaponic system. It's not completed yet. I still need to make it look more natural as right now it's just plastic. And yeah, so I just need to um, put rocks, cement rocks around it and I need to get more biofilter media. And I just need to adjust the rate of the water flow in and out just so that the waterfall here that I have um, provides more oxygen um, to the pond. So the reason I had to do this was firstly my pond was getting very 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 dirty from my ducks that are here and my new residents, I don't know if you've met them, no you haven't, my geese, George and Elias. They are brand new, they are to, They are my guardian geese, they protect all my animals from um, jackals and any other predatory animals out here. They also protect my garden and all of my fruit and vegetables from any monkeys um, and anything else that, like porcupines that may come and eat them. And yeah, they also chase me and the dogs, so they are very protective. Um, the reason is they pull out plants, they put mud into the pond, they but they poo in the pond and that therefore um, makes algae grow. And the algae that's growing in here is actually suspended algae, so it makes the pond look very, very dirty. That isn't very good for trout because trout require a very high quality water and therefore I won't know, they won't have very high quality water because of the ducks and the geese. Also, I like to watch my fish eat, and I like to watch how many I've got, um, just to see if I have any predators coming by and eating them. Um, at the moment, I don't know um, how many trout are in here. I recently got 40 more baby trout, um, and I added them, and I don't know where how many are left. So, at the moment, I'm just emptied my pond, um, and I it's very dirty, you can see. Um, just because the ducks just swam and I emptied the pond and now I'm just refilling it back with some nice fresh water. I don't want to empty the whole pond because in order, then I would have to cycle my pond again and I wouldn't be able to have fish in it and my plants wouldn't really grow and yeah. So that's the first reason why I made this biofilter which I will show you thoroughly right now. Um, I also had uh, low, not didn't really have much nitrifying bacteria, so therefore I knew that my plants weren't really growing well. So I had to have more biological surface area for my um, bacteria to colonize on. So that's the second reason, and let me just show it to you right now. So here it is. It is right next to the pond, actually it's above the pond, and this is the pipe that takes water from my, aqua, my pump up to my aquaponic system, and this is the water coming back. So, I, as I said, it's still not completed yet. I still need to add more pebbles into this section here, and I need to get more biofilter so um, media this is wool by filter wool which will allow for the bacteria to colonize on and you can see it's actually very 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 dirty um, yeah so I need to pack it more tight these are bricks that have holes in it so what happens is the water actually flows into this chamber here which I need to put pebbles down as well um, and I need to, obviously I need to put some sort of fish in here just to keep it clean from any parasites that might be breeding in here. So I might just get some like white cloud mountain minnows or some mosquito fish or something that is very small that I can put in here that's very easy to care for. And then I, it flows through these bricks and into where the bacteria will obviously colonize on. This will filter out any dirt particles and anything that um, 
just makes the water look very dirty so any suspended algae particles it then flows through here these holes and it flows into um, these rocks these rocks it's quite deep um, it's just for allow also to allow bacteria to colonize on the rocks eventually you'll see like strings of algae growing on it or um, it'll be very slimy because bacteria will start to grow on it and you don't really want to clean this too often and you do not want to clean it and you do not want to replace it you want to clean it because there'll be bacteria growing on there and what you want to do is you want to take it out and rinse it in a bucket that comes from water from your dam and then you want to put it back in here obviously because there's bacteria that colonize on here and it takes quite a long time for them to do that so I still need to add some rocks into here um, to just block it more up and the water isn't really flowing through the bricks over here it's more flowing over the bricks um, so I just obviously need to put another brick there and I've put some water cress in here also just to allow surface area for any particles to catch on and you can also see also here that it's actually doing its job all of the roots eventually will grow into the substrate and will catch out any um, dirt particles I also have a little bit of duckweed in here that I've added if you haven't seen my duckweed growing video I will um, add a pop-up so that you can click on it to see it and yeah so the water then flows out here I still need to gravel all of this up um, just to make it look more natural and then it flows down into my pond so it flows down into my pond here also have some more watercress just as a final filtration um, and then it goes into my pond I need to make it so that the water actually goes over here and not into the um, actual uh, go underneath it needs to flow over just to allow more air circulation for my fish so I just need to cut the plastic to give it my little touch I might add some indigenous grasses around here to make it more look more natural I have two big and uh, tree ferns behind here um, so I might just put ferns or something you guys can tell me what do you think I should put around here I'm going to add rocks here to make it look more natural and yeah I'll guy give you guys updates in the future and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time George. Hi. Hi. Ah.